Time now for the odd one out round. Ian and Julia, your four are. Pot Black Snooker, the Biami Tribe, the Natural Environment Research Council's Polar Research Vessel, and the fossilised egg of an elephant bird. Well, we know about the, the polar vessel because people voted for it to be called Boaty McBoatface. And Boring McBoring Face in the government decided that was wrong. Um, <laughs> so they're going to call it the Sir David Attenborough. But that, that prompted a petition, rather wonderfully, for Sir David Attenborough to change his name by deed poll to Sir David <laughs> McDavid Face. <laughs> uh, so it's about changing your name? It's there not is, called Pot Black anymore. Yeah. Every colour is equal, it's called now. <laughs> is it? <laughs> is there a link to David Attenborough here? Oh, ah, he yes, because David Attenborough was the controller of BBC uh, Two oh, when yes. he commissioned Pot Black back in 1969. Because so it was a programme made for colour TV, as it was. Did he discover all these apart from which one didn't he? He, he, he didn't, dis he didn't discover one one that one. He didn't discover that, but he was named after it or something. Is the right answer? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> They're all known thanks to the work of Sir David Attenborough, apart from the UK's new polar research vessel, which is going to be named after him. I don't know if you followed the whole Boaty McBoatface thing. I thought it could have gone a lot worse if you were asking <laughs> the British public to decide on something. <laughs> the luck it wasn't called Harold Shipman. <laughs> <laughs> the hitherto unknown Biami tribe of Papua New Guinea were discovered by David Attenborough while filming a documentary in 1971. What did David Attenborough do with the egg from the gigantic but extinct elephant bird? He had to put it together. Because, he did? Yes, yeah, put it all back together. Yeah. Uh, he reconstructed it from over 1,000 pieces. Here's what he started out with. And here's his first attempt. <laughs> What could be a more appropriate 90th birthday gift for David Attenborough than to give his name to a polar research vessel as they both begin a long, cold journey to a place of endless night? <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Sir David. <laughs> what has John Whittingdale hit us up with this week? Damn good thrashing. <laughs> <laughs>